Well, we finally have the last missing piece to bring ourselves up to speed with Facebook ads changes for iOS 14. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your custom domain name to Toned In for free. What's up guys? It's Tom, welcome back to the lab and welcome back to my life. Last week, I dropped this video walking through all of the steps for how we can bring ourselves up to date for Facebook ads to be compliant with the new changes for iOS 14. We talked about domain verification, adding events, setting up our ads and setting up our ad sets. But the one thing that was missing at the time I made that video was information on how to continue to use any of the existing landing page generators that we use, like Toned In, Hyped It, Feature FM, and more. At the time I made that video, no one had said a word about how to use a custom domain with any of these landing page generators. So the only thing we had to go off of was the idea that we might have to build our own landing pages ourselves. Well, not anymore. Right after I published that video, Toned In announced that they're gonna now allow us to add our custom URLs to their landing pages for free. So today we're going to walk through exactly how to set that up. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide and make sure that you are up to date and everything works correctly for iOS 14. Now, before we dig into it, I want to remind you every Friday at 1 p.m. Central Time, we go live right here on YouTube. We talk about music marketing, branding, business, and anything else you guys want to jam on. You have access to me to ask me whatever questions are on your mind, and you can also engage with the community who shows up for these live events and have your questions answered by them. Everybody's super cool, nice, helpful, and we're all on this journey together figuring out how to make the best music, market it the best way, and succeed as independent musicians. So if that sounds cool to you, head over to my channel, make sure to set a reminder for this week's live event, and I will see you there on Friday at 1 p.m. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Toned In. If you don't have a Toned In account, you can sign up for one for free at ToneIn.io. If you do have one, then this first screen is gonna look kind of familiar to you. Now, once you get to toned in, we're gonna go up to the right side here on our profile, and we're gonna go to settings. And in the settings panel, there's a tab on the left side that says advertising. And when we get here, toned in has now added this new section called custom domains. It says, these are domains that you own, which you can use to host smart links. And on the right side, we have a button that says add domain. So we're gonna click that, and here it says, enter the domain that you would like to use. If you already have a website set up at your domain, you'll need to enter a subdomain, like link.yoursite.com, go.yoursite.com, or music.yoursite.com. So I have my website at tomdupreethe3rd.com. It's in desperate need of an update, but it exists. So I'm gonna come up with a subdomain for this, like they're suggesting, and I'm gonna use go, because I like that. So we're gonna do go.tomdupreethe3rd.com. And then we'll click submit. And when we click submit, we've got this little dialog here that says not configured, question mark. We're gonna click on that. And this is what it says. To use your domain in smart links and ad campaigns, you will need to point it to our servers. You do this by creating the following record in your domain's DNS settings. Type CNAME, host or hostname, go, points to or target, fanlink.to. Instructions for doing this in various web hosts are available below. So I use Google domains. So let's hop over to Google domains and we're gonna to go to DNS on the left side, just like they told us to do. And we're gonna scroll down to custom resource records. So following their instructions here, we're gonna do go is our subdomain. We're gonna go CNAME here. And this is gonna to point to fanlink dot to we're going to click add and this says changes to tom dupree the third.com saved they'll take effect within the next 48 hours cool go team so now we have to wait for this to propagate and connect correctly now google says that it's going to take about 48 hours for this to propagate or at least wait up to 48 hours for it to propagate for me it only took about five minutes for this to connect and once it connects it's going to look like this so now we've got a check mark next to the domain go.tomdupreethe3rd.com it says check configured it means everything's connected and everything's working well so now we're going to move on to the next step which is reconfiguring our landing page and then changing the URL in our ad. But before we do that, I wanna show you one more feature that I think is really interesting and very helpful to know. If you go back to add domain one more time, you can add as many subdomains as you want to this. 
So we'll do link.tomdupreethe3rd.com. Click submit. And now we have another link added in a list of links here. I'll just go through the same steps with my DNS settings at Google and connect it and do it all the same way and it'll work again. So you can add multiple subdomains here to route however diff many different places you want them to go. So now that we've got our domain connected for free to Toned In, which is awesome, we're gonna go back to campaigns and we are going to create a new campaign with our smart link. I'm not gonna update these existing campaigns because these ads, some of them are still floating out there in the universe. And I want those links to still be active at the fanlink.to links. If somebody has shared the post or saved the post or whatever. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to my link for lions and I'm gonna duplicate this link and just change the URL in it. So now that we're here at the link for lions, you can see it's tomdupreethe3rd.fanlink.to slash lions. I'm just gonna duplicate this link. So once we're here for the duplicated link, all the settings are gonna stay the same, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to modify link URL. And once we're here, under the dropdown for domain, you can see it says choose one of our preset domains or add your own. I'm gonna click this arrow. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. And here's my domain, go.tomdupreethe3rd.com. So now we've got go.tomdupreethe3rd.com slash lions. And everything else is gonna stay the same on this link. So we're gonna continue, all that stays the same. And we're gonna go to review and launch. And we're gonna rename this campaign Lions Branded. That way I don't get it mixed up with the other Lions campaign that I've got in here. We're gonna click create link. And now we've got our new landing page and there's our landing page, the exact same Lions landing page that we had before. Now the one drawback here is that I'm gonna to have to start from scratch with my click throughs and my views for this link, but this is a one-time change. From now on, all of my links will be branded and I won't have to duplicate them anymore. So it's a small sacrifice to pay to make sure that everything is up to date for the new system with Facebook. And once we've made our domain, I'm going to copy this link and we're gonna go over to Facebook ads. We're gonna to go to our campaign here and we're just gonna switch out the link in, in our ads here. So we'll go here. I'm just gonna do it in this one, one ad set here. So we'll edit this lions first and here we'll go copy that, paste in our new link. And as you can see, this little message here that says this domain doesn't match your website URL, make sure this domain is where conversions take place, disappears when we change it to the new one. So we click publish and we're good to go. So here's what's super awesome about this. This is the last step that brings us fully up to speed to make sure that everything works and everything complies with Facebook's changes for iOS 14. Now in the video I posted last week, everything still holds true. All of my ads still work with the unbranded links and the view content uh, events all work, everything works fine. But this is that extra step that guarantees that nothing is wrong with your ad account, nothing's wrong with your setup. And the cool thing is when you verify your main URL, your main domain, for me, tomdupreethe3rd.com, any subdomain that is attached to that URL is automatically verified as well. You don't have to individually verify subdomains like go.tomdupreethe3rd.com, link.tomdupreethe3rd.com. I've got social.tomdupreethe3rd.com slash Spotify in the description of this video. I don't have to verify any of that. All of that is automatically verified as a result of having verified my main URL. If you haven't watched the original video yet, go check that out, watch that video to see all the steps to set things up. And once you've watched that, take these final steps with Toned In, which I highly recommend, and you will have everything you need to be compliant with iOS 14. Now, before I let you go, I wanna remind you to please subscribe to the channel if you don't like this video, if you're feeling it, share it with your friends if you really dig it. And if you do subscribe, make sure to turn on notifications so that you don't miss any videos in the future. Now, at the end here, I've got a couple things you can check out. Last week's video on the iOS 14 changes, domain verification, everything is at the top, and then whatever I decide to put at the bottom. That's what's there. <laughs> As always, thanks for being here and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.